Hey guys, welcome to today's episode of Harris Motorsport Reviews. I'm your host, Jordan Harris, and today I have something a little bit different. I have a van, I have a Ford Transit van. The Ford Transit van has basically been the backbone of the British economy since it came out in the 60s. This is the latest version of that van. I rented this van from Enterprise Rent a Car in Northampton. Click on the link below to go to their website. As with my previous episodes, I'm going to go over the exterior, the interior, and then see what it's like to drive. For more of my thoughts on this particular van, please do click on the link below where I've written out a full review. In terms of the Ford Transit lineup, this is what they would call a medium wheelbase van. The Ford Transit does come in a smaller one, this size, a larger van, and an even bigger one. Those are different van sizes for different needs. You can also get one with a tail lift at the back. That van is massive. As the van is a commercial vehicle, it's entirely designed for storing stuff. So it has a really big cargo area. Big enough for me to almost stand in. The cargo area is really big in this particular van. As you expect, it's designed for storing stuff. So whether or not it's building materials or tools or even if you're moving house, there's loads of possibilities of what you can do with a van. You can even slide open the side panel door. In order to access the fuel filler cap, the passenger door needs to be open and you just move that like that chuck in your fuel you're good to go the van like all modern vehicles does have these daylight running running lights i really do like the design on these running lights so that is the 2018 ford transit van if you like the video please do click like comment subscribe and share it really does help me out a lot thank you now to step inside of the van The van itself is really quite modern. We actually do have, and it's more surprising than a van, heated seats. We also got Ford's infotainment system. This one does not have a sat nav, but you can always use Apple CarPlay to get around. Or alternatively, you can spec it up to have a sat nav if you want. As you can see down here, we do have cruise control, which is a pretty awesome feature. With the van turned on, if I were to put, put it into reverse, we do have parking sensors which is also a great feature to have in a, in a vehicle, especially one where you can't actually see out the back of it uh, and there's no mirror to see behind either. The van has six cup holders. You got one right here. You also got another one right there, one in the door down there, and it's exactly the same on the other side. You can also adjust the mirrors by pressing this button and letting it move around. With the mirrors, if you push the button that way, the mirrors will fold, and then the other way, they'll open again. I think it's time to see what the van is actually like to drive. So let's get moving. With a lot, of, it's got a really torquey engine. That usually comes from the, the diesel. There is a turbo in it as well. So it can shift, it can get off the line pretty quickly. It's, it's not fast at top speed, a little over 100 miles an hour. It's zero to 60 does take quite a while as well. That's partially because it's such a, a large and heavy vehicle. But compared to how vans used to drive in the past, it drives a lot more closer to a car. You got a lot of comfort, comfortable features in here. As I've shown you, we've already got heated seats, which I have on right now air conditioning, a uh, pretty good infotainment system actually. You can link it up to your Apple CarPlay which is great if you want to uh, get anywhere because you can use uh, Apple Maps. You can also listen to your own music on there so that's a really really great feature. I do wish that it had a reversing camera. That would just make parking such a, a large vehicle that little bit easier. It is a large vehicle. If you're not used to driving such a vehicle of this size it's quite a step up to get into uh, but if you're used to driving it it's it's absolutely fine you're you're gonna have no problems driving it whatsoever 